Yo, what's good, everybody? Right. I got to get the uh, ears in there. How's everybody doing tonight? Oh, goodness me. I spooked myself. Give me a spook. Hold on. Hold on. There we go. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Good. Hello. Check, check, check. Okay. Test, 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 test. Check, 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 check. Right there. There. That does work in. Everything is working. We're gonna have a little, a little shine. Maybe I'm just so pale. Okay, uh, so as you can see, we're going to be playing some Metal Gear Solid 1 tonight. Uh, got to look at VR missions. Here. Okay. Uh, okay. okay. So I've never played this version. I played Twin Snakes. And I love that game. So we're going to see how it goes. disposal facility on Shadow Moses Island in Alaska's Fox Archipelago was attacked and captured by next generation special forces being led by members of Foxhound. Right on. They're demanding that the government turn over the remains of Big Boss and they say that if their demands are not met within 24 hours they'll launch a nuclear weapon. You'll have two mission objectives. First, you're to rescue DARPA Chief Donald Anderson and the president of arms Colonel Kenneth Baker. <clears throat> Both Colonel. are being held as hostages. Secondly, you're to investigate whether or not the terrorists have the ability to make a nuclear strike and stop them if they do. What's the insertion method? We'll approach the disposal facility by sub. And then... We'll launch a one-man SDV. After the SDV gets as close as it can, dispose of it. From there on, you'll have to swim. Got it! High-tech Special Forces Unit Foxhound. Your former unit, and one that I was a commander of. So they're still around. There are six members of Foxhound these, involved these in this These games are basically cutscenes. Psycho Mattis, with his powerful psychic abilities. Sniper Wolf, a beautiful and deadly sharpshooter. Decoy Octopus, master of disguise. Vulcan Raven, giant and shaman. And Revolver Ocelot, specialist in interrogation and a formidable gunfighter. And finally, in charge of them, Foxhound squad leader, Liquid Snake. Liquid Snake? The man with the same code name as you. 
The nuclear weapons disposal facility covers the whole island. I'll instruct you by codec after you reach your target. Anyone going with me? As usual, this is a one-man infiltration mission. Weapons and equipment, OSP? Yes. This is a top-secret black op. Don't expect any official support. Trippy as heck. Normal mode. Commencing mission. Barrel. Okay, what do we got here? Oh, a little raggedy. Stay alert. You'll be through here. I know it. I'm going to swap down a couple of bothersome flies. Bothersome. Oh. This is Snake. Colonel, can you hear me? Loud and clear. What's the situation, Snake? Looks like the elevator in the back is the only way up. Just as I expected. You'll have to take the elevator to the surface. But make sure nobody sees you. If you need to, contact me by codec. The frequency is 140.85. When you want to use the codec, push the select button. When we need to contact you, the codec will beep. When you hear that noise, press the select button. Oh, the codex receiver cool. directly stimulates the small bones of your ear. No one but you will be able to hear it. Got it. Okay, I'm ready to go. Well, that's cool as fuck. That's one of the coolest things in this in this show, I think, is the codec. Because it's basically telepathy at some point. Snake, you have to crawl. Thing. Okay. You guys coming up this way. Where are you going? There's an 
elevator there you can take up to the ground. You'll just have to wait for the elevator to come down. You better... Better hide somewhere. You'll just have to wait for the elevator. Gotta juke these guys. Come on now. What the heck is that elevator? Oh, a third dude. Aha! I am the stealth. So I'm a bit nervous about this one because uh, I I started with two way back on the PlayStation Two, long ago in the before times. But I loved that game. I played that game over and over and over again. But I never played this one. Because even then, when I first discovered the series with 2, and I looked back at this one, I was like, this is not... This does not look great. This does not look, like, super fun. But I did play Twin Snakes, and I loved that game. So I'm hoping this doesn't feel like I'm regressing or that I'm playing a lesser version of Twin Snakes. Let's find out. Front of the disposal facility. Excellent, Snake. Age Excellent, hasn't slowed Snake. you down one bit. How's that sneaking suit working out? I'm nice and dry, but it's a little hard to. Oh move. yeah, and I wasn't willing Bear to go me. all the way it's back. It's designed to, to prevent weird. hypothermia. This is Alaska, you know. Take it easy. I'm grateful. If it weren't for your suit and your shot, I would have turned into a popsicle out there. An anti-freezing peptide, Snake. All of the genome soldiers in this exercise are using it. I see. I'm relieved to hear that. Already tested, huh? By the way, how's the diversionary operation going? Two F-16s just took off from Galena and are headed your way. The terrorist radar should have already picked them up. Nice. Good job, America. Behind D. Hey. Colonel. What's a Russian gunship doing here? I have no idea. But it looks like our little diversion got their attention. Now's your best chance to slip in unnoticed. There are only 18 hours left until their deadline. You've got to hurry. Wow, he must be crazy to fly behind in this kind of weather. Who's that? Oh, sorry. I haven't introduced you two yet. Ooh, this is Mei Ling. Said that. She was assigned to us as our visual and data processing specialist. She right. designed your codec, as well as your Soliton radar system. Contact her if you have any questions about either of them. <laughs> nice to meet you, Snake. It's an honor to speak to a, a living legend like yourself. What's wrong? Nothing. 
I just didn't expect a world-class designer of military technology to be so... cute. <laughs> You're just flattering me. No, I'm serious. Well, I know I won't be bored for the next 18 hours. Come on. I can't believe I'm being hit on by the famous Solid Snake. But, uh, I'm surprised. You're very frank for a trained killer. Looks like we both have a lot to learn about each other. Yeah. I'm looking forward to learning about the man behind the legend. But first, let me explain about your Solitan radar system. The bright dot in the middle is you, Snake. The red dots are your enemies, and the blue cone shape represents their field of vision. Be careful, Snake. The genome soldiers have highly developed senses of hearing and vision due to their gene oh, yeah? therapy. Make sure you don't let them see you. I don't think First, they do. I want you to infiltrate the disposal they don't even have site and look for the DARPA chief. The DARPA chief was injected with the same GPS transmitting nanomachines as you. He should appear on your radar as a green dot. Get whatever information you can from him about the terrorists. Nanomachines. If he's alive, that is. Snake, your radar isn't affected by the weather, but if you're discovered by an enemy, you won't be able to use it. Yes, it gets jammed easily, I'm afraid. Yes, it's all made from currently existing technology. Oh. You won't be able to use it in an area with strong harmonic resonance, so be careful. We'll be monitoring your movements by radar, so contact us by codec anytime you want. Got it. I'll call if I'm feeling lonely. Seriously, Snake, we're here to back you up, so call if you need some information or advice. I'm also in charge of your mission data. Contact me if you want me to record your current status. My frequency is 140.96. It's a dedicated frequency for saving data. Don't forget it. Remember, except for your binoculars, you're naked. You need to arm yourself with whatever weapons you can find. I remember. Got it. First, I'm strip-searched by Dr. Naomi here, and then all my weapons are taken away. Imagine yourself put in that position. Well, if you make it back in one piece, maybe I'll let you do a strip-search on me. I'll hold you to that, Doctor. By oh. the way, sorry to disappoint you, but I did manage to smuggle out my smokes. How did you do that? In my stomach. Thanks to the shot you gave me that suppressed my stomach acids. Cigarettes? How are those going to help you? You never know. If you want to get in, there's the front door. It's the fastest way, but there's too much risk of being spotted by the enemy. Yeah. I can't just knock on the door and ask them to let me in. Uh, there's one sentry on the left and one on the right. They're armed with five five sixers and pineapples. What about the air duct near the door? There should also be a duct on the second floor. I can't see it from here. I'll let you decide the best COA. I'm counting on you, Snake. Right on. So this is kind of a slow, methodical game from what I remember. Surveillance? 
surveillance camera? That base must have some kind of ventilation system to recirculate the air. There should be air ducts around there somewhere. They must need a lot of okay. power to run the base. It's probably a diesel generator somewhere. And since generating electricity requires oxygen, there must be exhaust openings for that, too. You're not gonna believe this, but they shot down the F-16s we were using as a diversion with a Hein D. Then we got a message from Liquid. Liquid. He said if we try something like that again, he'll launch the nuke. Snake, hurry up and get in there. That hind will be coming back soon. Liquid. You caught Snake? Go ahead and do a quick save real quick. Snake, remember what the girl said. The graveyards are full of indispensable men. Snake, you're all alone and surrounded by bad guys. Try to be careful and avoid getting into a fight whenever you can. You're right. Wow, you know all sorts of great quotes, don't you? <laughs> well, both my parents are from Guangdong, China. Gong, but gong. I was born and raised in America. I've always liked reading literature from both sides. Kinda keeps me in touch. I'll share some more quotes with you if you like. Hell I'm yeah. looking forward to it. But to tell you the truth, I'd like to learn more about you. <laughs> well, I'll think about it. All right. Huh? You didn't see nothing. The genome soldiers have enhanced senses. Oh. Oh, okay. Jump, 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 jump. What's that? What's that? This is kind of creepy. Silkum pistols unloaded? Yeah, but there was a problem. What is it? The security on the door was broken. So the door is still open? Second floor where? The east side room. We better fix it before the boss finds out. Okay. Okay, is this not, uh, this not the way? Oh, that looks real funky. Rats. This is oh. McDonald Miller. It's been a long time. Master, what are you doing here? Master, I quit what are you being doing a drill here? instructor, so I moved out here for some peace and quiet. I'm in retirement, just like you. Once in a while, I still help train the Alaskan scouts. Passing on the skills to a new generation, huh? <laughs> Campbell told me about the situation here. I thought I might be of some use. Yeah. There's no one I'd rather have in a foxhole than you. Nice. Well, I know lots about survival in a harsh environment. I've lived in Alaska longer than you, so call me if you have any questions about the flora or fauna out here. My frequency is 141.80. Those mice are Alaskan field mice. Don't worry, they can't hurt you. Wild field mice don't have a thick layer of fat, but they can still survive the bitter winters here without hibernating. They dig tunnels under the snow, that's where they stay warm. Survival specialists, huh? I should learn from them. But there's a dark side, too. Sometimes the males will kill and eat offspring that's not their own. 
to ensure the survival of their own genes, right? Yeah. Pretty brilliant program, huh? If there are mice, that means there must be an exit somewhere. Follow the mice. Gotcha. Follow the mice. Oh boy. Oh boy. That's gotta be cold. Mice! Here's your boys. Oh, they're so cute. The mice are my friends. The mice are my friends. The mice are my friends. Hold on, I need to check out. What's good, so homie? Do do do. Do 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 do. Do do do. We're in. Campbell. Snake. First, you've got to find the DARPA chief. Look for clues. Okay. Snake, you've got to think. Your mind is your most dangerous weapon. If things are getting too complicated, try to simplify your thoughts. You can also try calling Campbell for advice. Alright. Soldiers that have been forged in the fires of battle are used yeah. to catching naps whenever and wherever they can. There's a big difference between real soldiers and those kids who have only been trained in VR simulators. After playing for a long time, you should get some rest too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Going to get to me. Not today. What's up? Use the elevator to change floors. There should be a cargo elevator that you can take down somewhere around there. Try to find it. Snake. Okay. Calm down. What's up, Campbell? Look oh, at the radar. Man. It's picking up the DARPA chief. He's the green dot. Hurry and rescue him. Got it. I'm sure this will be simple. Okay. How do I do that? Snake, if you want to go up or down a ladder, just press the action button. By action the ladder. button. Snake, if you want. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry, uh, Metal Gear always uses um, 
circle as its action button. So. It gets a little frustrating. Is not a way to look? Chief signal is coming from somewhere in that area. Isn't there some place to drop down? We can take a look around in first person view mode. Snake, the dark. How do I do that? Oh. Okay. Derpa. Save me, huh? What's your outfit? I'm the pawn they sent here to save your worthless butt. Really? It's true. You don't look like one of them. In that case, hurry up and get me out of here. All Slow right. down. Don't worry. First, I want some information about the terrorists. The terrorists? Do they really have the ability to launch a nuke? What are you talking about? The terrorists are threatening the White House. They say if they don't accede to their demands, they'll launch a nuclear weapon. Sweet Jesus. Is it possible? It's possible. They... could launch a nuke. Uh, what? How do they plan to launch? I thought this place was just for keeping the dismantled warheads. They shouldn't have access to a missile. What I'm about to tell you missile. is classified information. Okay. We were conducting exercises with a new type of experimental weapon. A weapon that will change the world. What? A weapon with the ability to launch a nuclear attack from any place on the face of the Earth. A nuclear-equipped walking battle tank. Metal Gear. Metal Gear. It can't be. You knew? Metal Gear is one of the most secret black projects. How did you know that? We've had a couple of run-ins in the past. So that's the reason you were here at this disposal site? Why else would I come to a godforsaken place like this? I had heard the Metal Gear project was scrapped. On the contrary. It's grown into be a huge joint project between arms tech and ourselves. We were going to use this exercise as raw data, and then proceed to mass production. If it hadn't been for the revolution... Revolution? Rex has fallen into the hands of terrorists. Rex? Metal Gear Rex. The code name for the new Metal Gear prototype. Probably already finished arming the warhead they plan to use with Rex. The 
These guys are pros. They're all experienced in handling and equipping weapons. Hey! Shut up in there, will ya? Boom. But I thought that all nuclear warheads were equipped with safety measures. Some kind of detonation code that you have to input. Oh, you mean PAL. Yes, of course, there is a PAL. It's oh. set up so that you need to input two different passwords in order to launch the device. There are two passwords? Yes. Baker knows one, and I know one. Baker? The president of Arms Tech. That's right. Each of us needs to input our password, or there can be no launch. But... They found out my password. You talked? Psycho Mantis can read people's minds. You can't resist. Psycho Mantis? Psycho Mantis. One of the members of Foxhound. He has psychic powers. This is bad. It's just a matter of time before they get bigger. Earl. If they find out Baker's password... Yes. They'll be able to launch a nuke anytime. But there is a way to stop the launch. What? The card keys. Card keys? They were designed by Armstead, the system developers, as an emergency override. Even without the passwords, you can just insert the card keys and engage the safety lock. And if I do that? Yes. You can stop the launch. That card key. So where are the keys? Baker should have them. Listen, you need three card keys. There are three different slots to put them in. You need to insert a card into each one of them. Okay, three card keys. Do you know where they might be keeping Baker? Somewhere in the second floor basement. Second floor basement? I heard the guards basement. say they moved him to an area that has a lot of electronic jamming. Any other clues? Yes. They cemented over the entrances, but didn't have enough time to paint them. Why don't you look for the areas where the walls are a different color? Here, take this. It's my ID card. It'll open any level one security door. It's called a pan card. It works together with your body's own electrical field. Personal area network, huh? It transmits data using the salts in your body as the transmission medium. That's that's pretty as cool. As you approach the door's security devices, they'll read the data stored. In the I love how they keep coming up with like will open ways to explain gotcha. the video gamingness of it. Okay, I'm gonna get you out of here. Wait a minute. What is it? You haven't heard any other way to disarm the pal, have you? From your bosses or anyone? No. Are you sure you haven't heard anything? I just said no. So does the White House plan to give in to the terrorist demands? That's their problem. It has nothing to do with my orders. But what about the Pentagon? Pentagon? What is it? Government is dead. Naomi, the chief. What happened? I I don't know. It looked like a heart attack, but a heart attack? Oh, no. Colonel, are you hiding something from me? Absolutely not. Snake, you've got to understand. This op is security level red. You need the highest security clearance to get access to the complete file. You want me to believe that you're in charge of this op, but you don't have complete access to the file? I told you, the Secretary of Defense is in operational control. I'm just here as your support. Snake, we don't have time to debate. Get out of there and find President Baker.
Hello? Don't move! So you killed the chief, you bastard! Liquid? No, you're not. Don't move! Is this the first time you ever pointed a gun at a person? Your hands are shaking. <sighs> Can you shoot me, rookie? Careful. I'm no rookie. Liar. That nervous glance. That scared look in your eyes. They're rookies' eyes if I ever saw them. You've never shot a person, am I right? You talk too much. You haven't even taken the safety off, rookie. I told you I'm no rookie! You're not one of them, are you? Open that door. You've got a car, don't you? Why? So we can get the hell out of here. Looks like we'll be a little delayed. Uh oh. What are you doing? Don't think. Shoot! Murdered. Ow. We did it. Killed all those dudes. What's up, girl? Come on. Welcome to out with the way we are. Thanks for the help. Wait. Oh, gotta get that butt shot. That <laughs> pixelated ass. <laughs> wow. You fool. You've killed him. I'm sorry, sir. His mental shielding was very strong. What's happening? I could not dive into his mind. Now we'll never get that detonation code. Boss, I have a good idea. Uh oh. Okay. Crazy Mantis. Naomi, I just had some kind of hallucination. Is it from the nanomachines? Nanomachines. No, Snake. The nanomachines are functioning properly. So what was it? It must have been psychometric interference coming from Psycho Mantis, Foxhound Psychic. Think of it as a mental feedback loop. So that was Mantis. We reload. Okay. Go that way. Yeah, 
I guess. Let's check out B2. After the messages. Back. Oh, hold on. Here we go. Here we go. All right. Oop. Snake, Psycho Mantis has the power to read people's minds. He got the DARPA chief's detonation code. Hurry up or he'll get Baker's code too. That's right. If the terrorists get Baker's code, they'll be able to launch that nuke anytime they want. Yeah, they'll use Metal Gear to do it. Colonel, did you know they were conducting a military exercise here using Metal Gear? I didn't know. Really? Snake, you've got to understand. I'm just the middleman in this operation. Anyway, hurry up and get to the second floor basement. You've got to save the arms tech president before the terrorists find out his code. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on. Yeah, Let's see what the master has to say about this. People's reaction speed is slowest around 3 o'clock in the morning. And so is their judgment. If you're feeling drowsy, you should get some sleep. Bruh, it's 9 o'clock. Calm down. It's also important to be able to control your bodily functions. 
You never know when a long demo is about to begin. So make sure you're prepared to sit in front of the monitor for a long time if necessary. Okay. <laughs> He's just talking right at me now. It's never a good idea to fight on too full a stomach. It'll make you logy, maybe even Logie. sleepy. You should wait 30 minutes after eating before you play. It'll make you logy. Okay, let's get back to the action, shall we? Okay. We want to go to beach. clearance for any of these doors. Goggles. Those will come in handy. Oh, shit. Run, motherfucker. We got spotted once. We killed a whole bunch of dudes.
that's maddeningly unhelpful. Oops. Hold on, we'll figure out where we're going eventually. I just completely turned around here. Hold on. Where the hell am I supposed to be going? Anyway, hurry up and get to the second floor basement. You've got to save the arms I was just president at the before the terrorists basement. find out his code. Oh my lord. Do 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 Snake. What is that? There's a floaty down there. How do I get to the floaty? Let's find out, Woggles. Hi, hey, what's that then? What's all that then? What's all that then? Press the action button to drop down. Okay, Grandpa. I'm full on rations, mate. I can only outdo. Action button. Hold on. We may have made an error. A gravest error. Oh, 
Ooh. Hold on. Aha. This is it. This is the game, folks. We just beat the game. We found the cardboard box. Oh, do these doors only open when you have the card on you? That's dumb. Oh, that's right, I gotta find a spot in the wall and blow it up. I remember. Spot in the wall that's supposed to be painted. Or hasn't been painted. There we go. Get it. Jamming. President Baker should be somewhere around there. Hurry up and find him. Also, you can't use your radar there. Maylene says it's because of electronic jamming. If you want to know more, ask her. Subtly advising me to save. President Baker. Snake, you can't use your radar in that area. There's some kind of electronic jamming coming from there. I wonder what it is. Anyway, be careful. Yeah. Nothing else to say? Okay. <coughs> Where I come from, a soldier who loses his head in combat is called a target. Okay. 
Military sea rations place an emphasis on calories. That's why it's best to use them along with some other type of nutritional supplement, such as vitamins or minerals. Well... I don't get the feeling that Andrew Tate based off of this guy. Hide from me, Mr. Baker. You and your candlestick makers. Arms Tech President Kenneth Baker, right? Uh, don't worry, I'm here to save you. Uh, no, no, don't touch it. C4. C4. Grows faster than a bullet. Huh. Right. Touch that wire, and the C4 will blow up along with the old man. So you're the one that the boss keeps talking about. You. Special Operations Foxhound. Revolver Ocelot. I've been waiting for you, Solid Snake. Now we'll see if the man can live up to the legend. All right, bro. This is the greatest handgun ever made. Oh, why is he stroking it like that? Tsunami. Why is he stroking it like that? Six bullets, more than enough to kill oh, anything. Oh, oh, that that's moves. uncomfortable. Now I'll show you why they call me Revolver. All right, bro. You want to have a throw down with me? Draw. Draw. Hiding won't help you. I understand the bullets you see. I make them go where I want. The muzzle velocity of a bullet fired from a revolver is slower than one fired from an automatic. That's bad for you. The slower a gun's muzzle velocity, the more damage it does. Uh -oh. That's because the bullet will tend to lodge in the body instead of going right through. Those kind of wounds take a long time to heal. Sometimes they never do. I think that's part of the reason he likes that gun. He's a real sick puppy, that ocelot. The biggest drawback to a revolver is the reload time. That's your chance. Let's find out what Campbell has to say. If you've got a question about Foxhound, ask Dr. Naomi. Revolver Ocelot is a former member of Spetsnaz. After the fall of the Soviet Union, he apparently served in the Russian tax police's elite SWAT team. After that, he joined the SVR, the Russian Foreign Intelligence Agency, which was formerly a part of the KGB. But according to my sources, he was dissatisfied with the rigid system of the KGB and wanted to get out. That's when he was recruited by Foxhound. Foxhound. He's a gun fanatic and totally obsessed with cowboy movies and spaghetti westerns. He's also something of a sadist. He learned the most advanced torture techniques while he was with Spetsnaz. Yeah, he had plenty of practice. Lubyanka Prison is located right there inside KGB headquarters. In a gunfight, reloading is usually the most dangerous time. But he loves it. Use that to your advantage. You'll have to take him out when he's reloading. Can you see where his number of remaining bullets is displayed on the screen? Wait for the right moment and then take him out. All right. Give up. 
Gotcha. Got him. You're pretty good. Just what I'd expect from the man with the same code as the boss. It's been a long time since I had such a good fight. But I'm just getting warmed up. What? Brick. My hand! <laughs> Stealth camouflage. Can't you even die right? You were lucky. We'll meet again. Who are you? I like you. I have no name. That that exoskeleton. So fucking weird. Cyborg ninjas, cowboys, super soldiers, giant walking tanks that can shoot nuclear equipped souls. Can you talk? Who are you? I'm not one of them. Nano machines. The DARPA chief told me he gave them his detonation code. What about yours? Oh, I get it. Jim sends you. You're, you're from the Pentagon. Answer my question. What about your code? There's no time. I... talked. What? Now the terrorists have both codes and can launch any time. It's not like I didn't fight. I managed to resist Psycho Mantis's mind probe. He couldn't read you? How'd you do it? Surgical implants in my brain. Surgical implants? 
kind of like a psychic insulation. Everyone who knows these top secret codes has it. Even the DARPA chief? Of course. But the DARPA chief said Mantis got his code by reading his mind. Are you sure you heard him right? Yeah, I'm sure. In that case, how did they get your code? I never had any training on how to resist torture. <coughs> it looks like he had some fun with you, all right. Oh, he's not human. I tell you, he loved every second of it. What happened to your arm? He broke it. Looks like you're more than even now. His was sliced off. Ha. Huh. You're a funny man. So the DARPA chief, is he okay? Dead. What? What? I can't be. You know, that's not what you promised, Jim. Now you want to shut me up? Oh. Calm down. What's wrong with you? I just told you I was here to save you. Uh, I didn't kill the DARPA chief. He had a heart attack or something. A heart attack? Oh, don't be a fool. Anyway, the terrorists have both codes now. Those boys are totally insane. They wouldn't hesitate to launch. I agree, but what do they really want? Oh, who knows? Maybe they're like us in the arms industry, always looking forward to the next good war. Well, I'm not gonna let these maniacs start a war today. You still have the card keys? Card keys? To override the detonation code. I heard you had them. No, not anymore. What? Who does then? Not the terrorists? No. That woman. That woman? Woman? Who? A soldier that was thrown in prison along with me. A female soldier? It must be. She said she had just joined up as a new recruit. They threw her in prison because she refused to take part in the rebellion. A new recruit? Could that be the Colonel's niece? I gave her the key. Looks like she managed to break out of here, though. I hope she's okay. I'm sure she is. She's green, but as tough as they come. But how did you know she escaped? I was in contact with her by Kodak. Until I was tied up here, that is. Kodak? Yes, she stole it from the guard. If she still has it, you should be able to contact her. I'm sure she still has it. What frequency was she at? Oh, yeah. Let me tell you, it's... Oh, sorry. I forgot. Oh, Damn! No. Oh, that's right. It should be on the back of the CD case. Try to contact her. I'll contact her right away. This? But tell me, if this doesn't work, is there some other way to prevent the missile launch? You need to find Hal Emmerich, one of my employees. Who's that? The team leader of the Metal Gear Rex project. A Not genius a in engineering, but a little bit of an oddball. If there's anyone who can figure out how to stop Metal Gear from launching, it's him. What if he can't come up with anything? Oh, He'll have to destroy it. Emmerich knows how to destroy Metal Gear. Where is this Emmerich? Well, he's probably being held somewhere in the Nuclear Warhead Storage Building. It's north from here. That's where he worked. I understand, but why Metal Gear? The nuclear age ended with the turn of the millennium. Oh, you're wrong. The threat of nuclear war isn't gone. In fact, it's greater than it's ever been. The amount of spent nuclear fuel and plutonium is increasing even today. Listen, have you ever seen a warehouse full of nuclear material? No. Drums and drums of nuclear waste stacked this high, as far as you can see. Because there's still no real way to dispose of the stuff. So they just close the lid and try to pretend like it'll go away? Uh, essentially, yes. And they're not even doing a good job of storing it. Many of the drums are corroded, with nuclear waste seeping out of them. Unbelievable. Not only that, but several pounds of muff are reported every year. Muff. Muff. It stands for material unaccounted for. It proves that there's a large and well-organized black market in nuclear materials. Furthermore, since the end of the Cold War, Russian nuclear engineers in particular are out of work with no way to turn. In other words, there's plenty of available nuclear material and scientists for making a bomb. We live in an age when any small country can have a nuclear weapons program. What about the other superpowers? Uh, Russia and China still maintain a significant nuclear uh. presence. Complete nuclear disarmament is an impossibility. To maintain our own policy of deterrence, we need a weapon of overwhelming power.
You mean Metal Gear. Yes. You know our industry suffered quite a blow as a result of the cuts in military budgets due to this so-called peace. I remember hearing a lot about mergers and takeovers among the big weapons makers. Yes, and after my company lost their bid to produce the Air Force's next line of fighter jet, the Metal Gear system was our last ace in the hole. That's why we pushed to have Metal Gear developed as a black project. Black project? Secret projects paid for by the Pentagon's black budget. You can avoid a lot of red tape and get a great lead time on your weapons production. And no one can bother you. Not even those bleeding heart liberals on the military oversight committee. Yeah. Damn liberals. Bribes. I prefer to think of it as good business. Anyway, Metal Gear was going to be formally adopted after the results of this exercise were analyzed. I don't give a crap about you and your company. Yes, that's about what I'd expect from a grunt like you. Here, th this is what you came for, right? What's that? An optical disc. It's all here. The main hard drive was destroyed by gunfire. This is the only remaining copy of the data. What kind of data? All the data collected from this exercise. Don't play dumb. I know you were sent to get this. <laughs> I hid it from that sadistic maniac while he was torturing me. They don't know this disc exists. Make sure you report this to Jim. To your boss. I'll give you my card too. It'll open up all security level two doors. Can you walk? No. No, you go on without me. They got my password. They don't want anything else from me. I have one more question. Who or what was that ninja thing? It looked like you knew something. That ninja? That was Foxhound's dark little secret. Dark little secret. An experimental genome soldier. <coughs> uh. You know him? You should ask Dr. Naomi Hunter from Foxhound. She knows better than I. Naomi. You've got to stop them. If it goes public, my company and I are finished. Oh no, not your what? company. Doesn't Metal Gear use currently existing technology? Metal Gear itself does, but... Oh, oh what? no. What did you do to me? Oh, no. Oh, That's two heart oh, attacks no. in a row. Those Pentagon bastards. So, they, they actually went and did it. What are you talking about? They, they, they are just using you for... What the hell? So we're about an hour fifteen or so into this, and um, Colonel, both of our main listening? mission objectives are dead. dead too. I have no idea. Don't lie to me. It looked like another heart attack, but... Some kind of poison? Well, there are lots of drugs that can cause a heart attack in large doses. For example, potassium chloride or dioxides, but we won't be able to tell without doing an autopsy. Damn! Snake, I want you and Meryl to work together. Can I trust her? More than you can trust me. Get in contact with her. What does that mean? There's a lot of electrical interference coming from there. It should be okay if you do burst transmission like us, but normal transmission is probably impossible. Try moving away from that area. Snake, get a hold of yourself. Naomi, what the hell was that ninja thing? A member of Foxhound? No. Are you sure? Yes, we have no one like that in our unit. Is that right? Snake, I'm counting on you. Nice. Oh, and we got a little bit more health. Uh, okay, I'll be right back. Go ahead and save real quick. Just the DARPA chief and President Baker. So now the terrorists know both detonation codes. Yeah, and on top of that, they both died right in front of my eyes. Snake. Now that the terrorists have both detonation codes, the only way to stop a nuclear launch is to either use the detonation code release keys that Merrill's holding, or... Or find the Metal Gear chief engineer that President Baker mentioned, Al Emmerich. 
In any case, you should contact Meryl by codec. Wasn't her frequency written on the back of the CD case? Yeah, so that's the thing. Um, they want you, when this game first came out, they wanted you to look at the back of the actual physical case that the disc for the game came in. And Meryl's number would be on there. So I don't know, I don't, I mean, I don't have a physical case. I'm going to have to look it up, I think, unless they put it somewhere. We're going to, oh, poop. In any case, you should contact Meryl by codec. Yes, understandable. Snake, you can't use your radar in that area. There's some kind of electron. Dave. Be careful, Snake. Okay. What you got to say, Master? First, the DARPA chief, and then President Baker die of a heart attack? Yeah, smells pretty rotten to me. Master, do you know anything? Master. No, but there's definitely something going on. Keep your eyes open out there. Okay, we'll be right back.
back. Let's see what we can find here. Hold on, let's see if they gave us a tool. Aha! See? Here it is. 140.15. Okay, how do I... 40.15. Oh, I gotta get out of here first. Hold on. Ask you a question. If I'm ask you a question. really impressed with the way you busted yourself out of there. The one from the prison? You're the colonel's niece. Meryl, right? No, it's not him. Just exactly who are you? I'm the fool that your uncle sent all alone into the middle of this whole mess. You so came for by everyone yourself? Who you think you're some kind of one-man army? This game up, you you're not even armed. Code, I appreciate you your help from before, the, but uh, I don't need lectures. Game you're just like your uncle, you know? The game How do you profile. know my uncle? We go way back. There. What's your name? For My name's not important. Aha! Uh -huh. Could you be Snake? Are you Solid Snake? That's what some people call me. The legendary Solid Snake? You? Sorry about before. I wasn't sure if you were one of the good guys. But I knew you were. How? It's your eyes. My eyes? 
They're not soldiers' eyes. And they're rookies' eyes, right? No, they're beautiful, compassionate eyes. Oh, just what I'd snake expect is from a legendary down hard solid on snake. Everyone. You trying to sweep me off my feet? Don't worry, you'll land back on them once you meet me. The reality is no match for the legend, I'm afraid. Oh, I don't believe that. Why did you look so surprised when you saw my face? Because you look just like him. You mean the terrorist leader, Liquid Snake? Yeah, you know him? You're not brothers, are you? I have no family. So have what's no family. the deal then? Who knows? Why don't you ask him? But first I want some information. You were involved in this exercise from the beginning. What exactly happened here? I'm sorry. Earl. I was captured along with President Baker right after the terrorist attack. That's okay. But what is this place? I don't think it's just a nuclear weapons disposal facility. Boy, oh boy, it's just like them. Nobody told you anything, did they? Nope. Okay. You see, this place isn't really for disposing nuclear weapons. This base is owned and operated by a dummy corporation of arms tech. This is a civilian base? Right. For the development of Metal Gear. Colonel. Foxhound and the Next Generation Special Forces were called here for the test launching of a dummy nuclear warhead. Why Foxhound? Because they're a special ops group used to handling top secret missions. They figured they could help keep it all hush-hush. But we must have fired nuclear warheads before. Why just this time? I heard it was because this was to be a final test before the formal adoption of the Metal Gear program. Well, that's what I heard, anyway. Uh, sounds kind of fishy. So what do you think the terrorists want? Mm, sorry, I'm not sure. I was captured with President Baker right after the revolt started. Oh yeah, that's when he gave you the detonation code override keys, right? That's right. Amazing, you were able to keep him hidden from the guards. Well, women have more hiding places than men. Anyway, Wait. you met Baker, huh? How's he holding up? He's dead. And what? What? Heart attack. Same as the DARPA chief. Heart attack. The chief died from a heart attack no. too? Yeah. Was either of them sick or anything? Girl. No, not that I heard of. Well, I don't believe in coincidences. Something funny's going on. Hmm, sounds like it. But I have no idea what. Me neither. Yet. Do you know the person who designed Metal Gear? You mean Dr. Emmerich? Oh, yes. Is he still alive? Probably. He should be in the research lab in the second floor basement of the nuclear warhead storage building to the north. Second floor basement? Yeah, that's where his lab is. I think they're forcing him to work on the nuclear launching program. So they'll need him alive until that's done anyway. Then we better do something before he finishes. You're right. In case we can't override the detonation code in time, I need to ask him how to destroy Metal Gear. You plan to take that thing on by yourself, Snake? It won't be the first time. Ah. Oh. What's the best way to get to the building where the doctor is being held? There's a cargo door on the first floor of this building that leads to the north. What's the security level of the door there? Five. But it's okay. I've got a level five card. Well, I've got to go save the doctor. You should go. I'm going with you. No way. You're still too green. I want you to hide somewhere. I'm not green. Oh, yes, you are. You pause for just one second in front of your enemy and it's all over. Good luck doesn't last forever. I don't know what happened. I just couldn't pull the trigger right away. I never had any problems in training. But when I thought about my bullets tearing through those soldiers' bodies, I, I hesitated. Shooting at targets and shooting at living, breathing people are different. Ever since I was a little girl, I always dreamed about being a soldier. Every day of my life, I've trained my mind and body for the one day when I could finally see some real action. And now... So what now? You want to quit? I can't quit. I can't allow myself to quit now. Listen, Meryl. Everybody feels sick the first time they kill someone. Unfortunately, killing is one of those things that gets easier the more you do it. In a war, all of mankind's worst emotions, worst traits come out. It's easy to forget what a sin is in the middle of a battlefield. But this isn't a war. It's a terrorist action. You're just a little jumpy from the combat high. The adrenaline in your bloodstream is starting to thin out. Just take it easy. But I learned all about combat high at the academy. We'll talk about it later. For now, just think about keeping yourself alive. 
If I get out of here alive, I'll think about that other stuff. Okay. Let me try to say this another way. Stay the hell out of my way. <laughs> You're a real bastard. Just like my uncle said. Huh. I told you. The real me is no match for the legend. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like you were right. <laughs> okay, Snake. I'll be a good girl. We'll link up after I grab the doctor. Then we'll take care of the detonation code override. Gotcha. But listen, I know this area better than you. Call me if you have any questions. Be careful, be okay? Be careful. After I open up the cargo door, I'll contact you. Merle. Don't worry, Colonel. Meryl is fine. Meryl. Thank God. Meryl is a very strong woman. I really respect her. She's got plenty of heart. Thanks, Snake. Not so fast. The real mission is still ahead. Master. People who have been through war and survived develop a kind of sixth sense to warn them of danger. Trust your instincts as a soldier, as a gamer. <laughs> okay, uh, so we gotta go to second floor basement. We're at second floor basement. That's four. Snake, don't be so impatient. Settle down. I need a little more time to get the cargo door open. I'll call you when I get the door open. Just wait a little, okay? Oh, so I just had to sit here and wait. Rescuing that Metal Gear engineer is now your primary goal. When Merrill opens up the cargo door, I want you to head north. Got it. the cargo door for you thanks where are you where I can see ya don't move around too much don't worry I'm disguised in this enemy uniform you won't be for long with the way you walk what does that mean uh, nothing listen snake the cargo door is like an air yes. <laughs> it's equipped with infrared sensors be That's careful if thing, an girl. intruder is sensed gas is released gas Yes. Okay, so we'll meet at the nuclear warhead storage building. Wait, you said you'd stay put and be a good girl. I changed my mind. Don't get careless. That's when things always turn sour. Sorry, but this is the only way I can figure out whether or not I'm cut out to be a soldier. I gotta get my hands dirty. These guys are professionals. You're gonna get yourself killed. You're gonna die, See you there. Merle. Be 
careful, Snake. That airlock is set with infrared sensors. You probably can't see them with your naked eyes, but there are infrared beams coming out of that wall. Touch any one of them, and the doors will seal off, and the place will be flooded with poison gas. Somehow, you've got to get through without setting off those sensors. Don't worry, I've got Google's... Except my fate. like the place is protected by infrared sensors. Somehow you'll have to make it past the beams. If you have any questions about weapons or equipment, you should ask our military analyst, Nastasha. Nastasha? is 141.52. What was it? It looks like the place is protected. One four one five two. This is Nastasha Romanenko. A pleasure to work with you, Solid Snake. You're the nuclear specialist that the Colonel mentioned? That's me. You can ask me anything about nukes that you want. I am also a military analyst, so I have an extensive knowledge of weapon systems as well. They asked me to participate in this operation as a supervisor from the Nuclear Emergency Search Team. I was happy to accept. We must not allow terrorists to get their hands on nuclear weapons of any kind. I hope I can help you to stop them. You're a tough lady. Those terrorists are serious about launching a nuclear weapon? The world cannot stand by idly and allow that to happen, and neither can I. Unfortunately, all I can do from here is provide you with information. Hopefully that'll be enough. Another soldier here wouldn't make a difference anyway. It's good to work with you, Nastasha. Same here, Snake. A snake, that room is set with infrared sensors. You should be able to see them if you had some smoke, oh, uh, cigarette smoke or something. Sorry, but these are smokeless cigarettes. You mean those cigarettes that are designed to cut down on secondhand smoke? 
Oh, well, don't worry. If you blow the smoke in the direction of the infrared sensors, you should be able to see them. That was a good idea, bringing the cigarettes, but uh, don't smoke too much. Cigarettes make you weak in mind and body. They are bad for you. Okay. Don't you currently have a cigarette in your mouth? A snake, that room is set with infrared and... What? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do the time warp again. It looks like the place is protected by infrared. Here, they're on. Aha! Keep forgetting about that. That's kind of annoying. I don't think that was a thing in the second game. Snake, be careful. There are Claymore mines around there. Use a mine detector. Who are you? Just call me Deep Throat. Deep Throat? The informant from the Watergate scandal? Never mind about that. You're not using burst transmission. Are you nearby? Listen, there's a tank in front of your position waiting to ambush you. Who are you, anyway? One of your fans. That area is mined? If you only had a mine detector. After you locate the mines on your radar, crawl forward and retrieve them. Anti-personnel mines have killed over 20,000 non-combatants in the past 30 years. In countries like Cambodia and Nicaragua, the killing and maiming of innocent victims continues long after the wars have ended. It is easy to plant mines, you see, but removing them is a different matter. It requires dude. more time and manpower than anyone is willing to invest. The superpowers need to donate more mine detectors and other equipment to remove them. It is the least we could do after laying them. Anything else to say? If you only had... The place is mined? Well, if you use a mine detector, you'll be able to see the mines displayed on your radar. If you need a mine detector, there should be one on the second floor of the tank hangar. So I have to get past the tank first.
Master, does the name Deep Throat mean anything to you? Deep Throat? What? You mean the guy from Watergate? No, but he uses the same name. Whoever he is, he's not part of our operation, but he's been giving me advice by codec. What? On top of that, he wasn't using burst transmission. It seems he was transmitting from somewhere on this base. Interesting. Somewhere on the base? Yes. I have no idea who that could be. I see. Colonel, I got a codec call from someone outside this operation. I know. We were monitoring the call. Mei-Ling knows everything about the communication system, so let me have her explain it to you. Well, if somebody knows your frequency, they can call you. But the question is, how did he learn it? It's top secret information. So you mean someone leaked the information? That's the only explanation I can think of. Mei-Ling, do you know where that transmission originated from? I'm sorry. The radio waves were too weak to locate their source. But I'm sure he's near you. Somewhere on the base. Snake. You'll have to go through the minefield to advance. Do a quick save what save. can I do for you, Snake? Snake, listen to what Lo Chi said. He who knows that enough is enough will always have enough. Just because you see an item doesn't mean that you always have to get it. If you don't really need it, think twice before you stick your neck out. It might not be worth it. Hmm. Good advice. There's supposedly... You're gonna have to deal these lasers every time we go through here. How many times can I get killed by this room? Oh, come on, come on, come on, just die faster. What are you doing up here? Get out of here.
Move it along. What was that noise? You don't need to see me. You don't need to, come to look this way. Get up! Get up! Get up! Get up! Get up. Okay. Easy. Don't need no mind D. Don't need no mind D. You have a whole ass tank. Not a fight. That M1 tank is equipped with advanced Victronics. Once it locks onto a target, it automatically tracks it. And its main gun is effective up to 3,000 meters. Jesus. To get close, you'll have to confuse its tracking system. 
Use your chaff. If you can jam the system and get close enough, it won't be able to use its main gun. Use your chaff at a long distance to fool its electronic systems. Okay. No response from Master, huh? Got anything to say? A tank can't operate by itself. It's actually a fairly delicate weapon. Don't worry. You've got at least a fighting chance. Ask Nastasha what she thinks. Gotcha. Got. Ain't got shit. We ain't got shit. Are we done? Did I win? as you said in battle he is as if possessed by a demon i am the Much demon like you i would expect no less see i told you so but i will kill him so general look at, look at Ivan, that man i hear he took your hand as well as your dignity watch your tongue shaman in the language shaman. of the Sioux people su means snake it is known as an animal to be feared Snake is mine now. When I meet him next, I'll take special care of him. Not okay. yet. Don't kill him yet. He and I will meet again in battle. In battle. Same prediction as always. Yes, the raven on my head. It thirsts for his blood. Okay, buddy. You got a special tattoo. You got a big special tattoo. Nice. Nice. We're, we're, we're booting right along, and we got an extra space here. Hell yeah, we got extra life, we got extra rations. Mas
Better make sure to check on the thermal goggles before I go rushing around these blind corners. Crashing. With me on my journey, I had to take down the map here. Apparently not. Open. Up. Be careful. You absolutely must not use weapons in that area. I've already programmed the nanomachine so that he won't be able to, Colonel. What? What are you talking about? Have you forgotten? That's where they keep the nuclear warheads. Can't you see them? Yeah, there's lots of boxes piled up here, but are they all warheads? Yes, they're all dismantled warheads. They just leave them here? It's like President Baker said, totally careless. They're working on a limited budget. They try to put on a pretty face for the media, but this is the grim reality of it. Nastasha knows lots more about it than I do. Oh, let's go All talk the to Nastasha. All the warheads in those boxes have had their detonation mechanisms removed, so there's no fear of them exploding. But if the warheads are broken, they might leak plutonium, and that would be a serious problem. Snake, never use your weapon on that floor. Got it. Nick, that is a nuclear warhead storage area. Are all these filled with nuclear warheads? Yes, but their detonation mechanisms have been removed. So I don't have to worry about this island turning into a pile of smoking rubble. No, but if the casing is damaged, they may be leaking nuclear materials. Please, make sure you do not use your gun around there. Okay, sorry. Uh, Meryl, what do you get to say? Dr. Emmerich should be in the laboratory area in the second floor basement. Heavy yeah. arms fire in that area is strictly prohibited. An explosion could cause nuclear material to leak from one or more of the warheads, yeah. and that would be a very serious problem. Please yeah. be careful. It looks like they're equipped with gas masks. That's because they're not supposed to use heavy arms. Uh, you mean they use chemical weapons instead? You answering yet? In war, where were you a minute ago, Master? The difference between victory and defeat. Don't ever hesitate. The slower you react, the greater the chance that you'll be beaten. Hmm. Hmm. Genome soldiers have been specially designed with night senses. Ah, poop.
crud. Boy, she sounded upset. Let's try this again. This time be patient. Patience will win out. box We gotta check out the B1 first. Right? Ooh, this one's shrinking. Get that guy over there. I couldn't figure out how to get up. <laughs> Dumb. Okay. That guy's peeing. Wow, that took a minute. Oh, he's gone.
All oh, the mirrors are broken, so they don't have a reflection. Can I use my guns here? I just realized I thought I couldn't use my gun. I'm dumb. Okay. Enough dicking around here. Let's go where we're supposed to go. Game mechanics. Okay, what do we got here? That's unfortunate. Snake, watch out. Watch that out. place is filled with gas. Oh. Also, the floor is electrified. Yes. It destroyed the high voltage switch. It's the switchboard on the northwest wall. But how? I can't reach it. Use a remote controlled missile. Okay. <laughs> Anybody know where to get a remote controlled missile? It is just like Baker said. We are facing increasing danger from stored nuclear materials. You see, there are three elements necessary in the manufacture of nuclear weapons. We're learning nuclear stuff today. Nuclear materials, We're learning nuclear things. engineers, and manufacturing technology. Our knowledge All is growing. three of them can easily be acquired by either legal or illegal means. If you have enough money, that is. Okay. Deep throat? No, I, I don't know anyone who calls himself that. I see. I wonder why he's trying to help you. Hmm. I have no idea. A trap? Could be, but for the time being, I'll have to trust him. Where are the remote-controlled missiles? I think the remote-controlled missiles are on the first floor basement of the Warhead storage building. Okay. Where I was just sitting. For the time being, let's trust what Deep Throat told us. Okay. Use a remote-controlled missile to destroy the switchboard in the northwest section of the Warhead Storage Building's second-floor basement. Well, let's make sure your remote-controlled that... missile doesn't get oh. shot down by those gun cameras. Gun? I'm sorry, gun cameras. What is it, Snake? Snake, like Shakespeare said, not had all spent, where our desire is got without content. Basically, it means that your desire can get you into trouble if you're not careful. Yeah, that yeah. goes for items, too. Don't get too greedy or you might be sorry. Be careful, Snake. Don't tell me what to do. All right, I'm going to do a quick potty break.
Welcome back. Welcome back to the shit show. Okay. Open. Damn. Oh. God dying it. Right. Burst stuff. I mean, oh, that guy's coming back. So we got the Nikita. We're gonna have to guide a missile through this electrified electrified floor. poisonous in here. Go get a gulp of air. Wipe out. There's a chaff grenade here. Go for air. Okay. Last a little bit more time.
Go, 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 go. fill up our rations real quick. Okay. We're running the other hallway. Got the chaff grenade. is advised it looks like they were cut by some type of blade <laughs> goodness that's a lot of people hello everybody welcome welcome in i just realized i'm not wearing my my gear oh we got bb we got panda we got mentally skinny welcome in welcome in how is everybody doing tonight panda how are you bb how are you I don't know what they're called, but I don't like them. Hey, and Joel! Welcome in, Joel! Oh, I, I just realized I did those wrong. Hi, Panda. How was your stream? Need to take a minute to to refresh in yourself. Please feel free to do so. If you are done for the night, then well, thank you for the raid. I hope you have a good night, and I hope you have a great weekend. Am I muted? What? You can hear me? Oh, okay, I was gonna say, I've got the little bar. Goose, <laughs> you have a what? What we got going on up here? <laughs> That's goofy looking. <laughs> you good, Panda? Why? How's everybody Why? doing tonight? I missed you guys. I've been sort of. I've been sort of. Taking some time off from from social media in general for a while for the last week or so. Oh, thank you! I just picked them up today for a buck twenty-five at the dollar family dollar dollar general. Family dollar dollar tree, family dollar dollar tree. It's a family dollar and a dollar tree because those are two different places. Yep, they're a bit small. They kind of hurt my head a little bit. I was going to go for a Santa hat, but I couldn't find one that fit my big old noggin. 
I might have to special order one before Christmas comes. I'm also thinking about maybe getting some, uh, some like beard, temporary beard dye, whatever it's called, like white for like streams around Christmas. If I do any streams around Christmas. Okay, we'll do. But how are you guys tonight? Thank you so much for coming in. We're playing some Metal Gear, a classic of the PlayStation 1 era. Uh, Metal Gear Solid. We're about to find out what's going on. Uh, what's going on in this bloody hallway. Oh, I better switch. Here we go. Thank you for coming in. Stick around. Oh, that guy's getting broken. Oh. Ninja. Oh! I'm going pretty good. How about you, Joel? Mr. Hirsch. Thank you so much for coming in. Alright. Cyborg Ninja. Otacon. <clears throat> Colonel. Going pretty good. Going pretty good. Ah, uh, he piddled himself. He had an accident. Stealth camouflage. Who Here's the are newspaper. You? Where is my friend? What? What are you talking about? What? Oh, no. What next? Snake. Snake. You're that ninja. I've been waiting for you, Snake. Who are you? Neither enemy nor friend. I am back from a world where such words are meaningless. We are frenemies, Snake. I've removed Dance. all obstacles. Dance with me. Now you and I will battle to the death. What do you want? I've waited a long time for this day. Now I want to enjoy the moment. <laughs> What's with these guys? It's like one of my Japanese animes. Oh, he said the thing. He said the thing. With you. What is it? Revenge? It is nothing so trivial as revenge. Alien. I'll fight to the death with you. Only in that can my soul find respect. I will kill you, or you will kill me. You got a sword. It Where's makes my sword? No difference. Watch from inside there. I need that man. Keep your hands off him. Now, make me feel it. Make me feel alive again. Okay, I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. Okay. That's the, that's the punchy button. We gonna throw hands. We gonna throw hands, my man. Let's go. Now we can fight this Look with them. Hand to hand. Yes. Yes. Only a fool Let us engage in fisticuffs. Oh. You shot the boss, buddy. Good job. Good job, robot man. God. Tetsumaki is supposed to be me. Okay. Oop. 
Okay. Calm down. Oh, you flippy bullshit. Okay, Spider-Man! Don't <laughs> flip. flip! Exactly. Hold still. If you want me to hurt you, then hold still. Close corners with this guy. Okay. Got some clearance. I think we're good. Doing anything, you? <laughs> there are clay more mines in that area. I get it, I get it. I'll stop using my... Stop it. Get back here. Where'd you go? Oh, I need to change that Nightbot setting. I have night vision. So that means I can't keep my... Oh, there you are. Scared. Come on. Hurry up and catch me. Working on it. Now what? I've been waiting for this pain. The pain. Thank you, baby. Ah! Oh, he's stunned. Okay. Snake. We have a better idea of what we're doing now. We sort of fumbled around in the first half. Okay. Can we skip the cutscenes? Now, make me Make me feel alive again. Okay. Okay. You got a boss. That's good, Snake. 
Yes, put the sword away. As wobbly as. It is the basis of all combat. Only a fool trusts his life to a weapon. Yeah. Okay. Ninja. Ninja. Oh, God. Okay, calm down. Yeah. Okay. Calm down. Will you stop it? That's good snake. Mm. Ran right into his fists. Hold 
still then. That would you chuck for me. That's good sneak. That's good sneak. Talking all that good shit. More hits should the item. Oh, come on. Did we get him? Oh, come on. Such a bullshit fucking. Snake, are you okay? Snake? Snake? I didn't. Realize he was gonna do a zappy zap aura. Zappy zap auras are cheating. You just went all Android 17 on me. FBI, open up! Alright, let's do this. Make me feel it. Make me Come on, Mr. Ninja Man. I've got your pattern down now. Punch, punch, no, punch, punch, punch. Hand to hand it is the basis of all combat. Only a fool trusts a little bit of fisticuffs. You need to calm down. Oh gosh, oh golly. Oh gee willikers. Oh still you weird little masochist. Fuck off! Okay, so we got. Hurry up and catch me! We got this far. Thermal goggles. Oh, he never broke down this window. I know you are, but what am I? Hey, Panda! Thank you! Thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate that. Really helps out. Nice to feel the love right here. Over here. Oh, I forgot about your teleporting move. 
How do I forget about your fucking teleporting mode? It's the only thing you're doing right now. What de de designates when I can get a one hit and a three hit? Hurt me more. Come on. Now he's gonna start his thing. What? Hurt me more. Hurt me more. Okay. We did it. I felt that snake. We Do did you it. remember me it. now? Can't be. Can't be. You were killed in Zanzibar. Zanzibar. <sighs> oh, I don't like him. Oh. What? Not again. Gone a little bit cuckoo. He's gone a little bit crazy. This is it over. This isn't even the start of it. Wait until we get into the second game, BB. The second game is one of my favorite video game plots of all time. Because it's just so fucking crazy. Like. Metal Gear Solid 3 is objectively the better game. But I love the story of Metal Gear Solid 2 so much. Box. No doubt about it. Ridiculous. This is actually you my first time playing through this version of Metal Gear Solid 1. No. I've only ever played the remake that came out died, on GameCube. But he didn't. What? It happened before I joined Foxhound's medical staff. They were using a soldier for their gene therapy experiments. I never heard that. It happened right after you retired. My predecessor, Dr. Clark, was in charge. Dr. Clark. Dr. Clark. Yes. He started the gene therapy project. And where is he now? He was Thank killed for in the an work, explosion Panda. in his lab two years ago. So what about this soldier? Apparently, for their test subject, they decided to use the body of a soldier who was recovered after the fall of Zanzibar. Zanzibar. And that was Gray Fox. But he was already dead. Yes. But they revived him. They fitted him with a prototype exoskeleton and kept him drugged for four years while they experimented. Okay, so I feel like I need to just stop right here and explain that this is technically the third game in the series. Now it's Metal Gear Solid 1. 
this is technically the third game in the series. The first game was Metal Gear Solid, and then there was Metal Gear Solid 2. Or Metal Gear, and then Metal Gear 2. Metal Gear involved Snake infiltrating a military base run by a guy named Big Boss, who was once the world's best soldier, but turned against everybody and started basically holding the whole world hostage. Snake goes in there and kills him, uh, tries to kill him, finds out that he is a clone of Big Boss. So Snake is a clone of Big Boss. Um, and his friend, uh, Gray Fox was also there, but he supposedly died. Turns out they turned him into a cyborg, uh, cyborg ninja. Um, and that's basically a brief rundown. That's about as important as you need to know from the first, uh, couple of games. They're like old school, like top down, uh, SNES era games and, and they don't play super well. And I didn't feel like playing them. So I decided to go start here because this is, this is where the the big meat of the story starts kicking in commented on him like a plaything no Today's it's not based off a book it's based off of the crazy imagination of That's one japanese man thing i ever heard they used him to test all sorts of gene therapy techniques naomi why didn't you tell us about this sooner because it's confidential information is that the only reason and the Metal Gear is a nuclear equipped Naomi, walking what tank. What happened to Gray Fox after that? The record says he died in the explosion. I see. But even if that ninja is Gray Fox, the question is why? From what I could tell, he didn't know who he was. Are you saying that he's just a mindless robot? I'm not sure, but he seems intent on fighting me to the death. We'll meet again. I know it. So you'll fight again. Do you kill him? him? Huh. Don't know where. I'd rather not. Don't know where. But maybe that's what he wants. How Get long out of are you gonna stay in there? Get out of there, piss boy. Uh, are you one of them? No, I'm not. I always work alone. Alone? Because I'm a loner. Are you an otaku too? Come on, get out. We can't stay here forever. Get out of the closet, piss boy. Your uniform is different than theirs. Yeah, no You're shit. You're the Metal Gear Chief Engineer, Hal Emmerich, right? You know me? I heard about you from Merrill. Oh, so you're here to rescue me. Sorry, but no. There's something that I've got to do first. Oh. Well, at least you're not one of them. Huh. Are you hurt? I'm okay. I just twisted my ankle a little bit trying to get away. Well, if that's all, it's nothing to worry about. I want to ask you something. I need information about Metal Gear. Huh? Metal Gear? Metal Gear? Yeah. What's Metal Gear really designed for? It's a mobile TMD. It's designed to shoot down nuclear missiles. Only for defensive purposes, of course. Fire! I already know that Metal Gear is nothing but a nuclear-equipped walking deathmobile. Nuclear? W what are you talking about? The terrorists are planning to use Metal Gear to launch a nuclear missile. You telling me you didn't know? They're gonna put a dismantled warhead into Metal Gear's TMD missile module? Wrong. From the beginning, the purpose of this exercise was to test Metal Gear's nuclear launch capability using a dummy nuclear warhead. The terrorists are just continuing the work you started. No, you're wrong. I heard it directly from your boss, Baker. No. A nuclear missile on Rex? So you really didn't know? No. All the armament was built by a separate department, and the president personally supervised the final assembly of the main unit. President Baker? Yeah. That traitor is I was never told long. exactly what they armed Rex with. I, I only know it's equipped with a Vulcan cannon, a laser, and a rail gun. A rail gun, you said? Yeah. It uses magnets to fire bullets at extremely high velocities. The technology the was originally magnets, developed man? for the SDI system and, and later scrapped. We were successful in miniaturizing it, in a joint venture between Armstech and Rivermore National Labs. The railgun is on Rex's right arm. 
Metal Gear's main function is to launch nuclear missiles. You sure you're not forgetting something? It's true that Metal Gear has a missile module on his back that can carry up to eight missiles, but are you saying it was originally meant to carry nuclear missiles? Nuclear. Nuclear. Yeah, but that's not all I think. If Metal Gear fired Oof. only standard nuclear Oof, missiles, the then they should already rough. have all the practical data they need. No. Could it be? I promise the second game looks much better. Metal Gear's code like, I think the second game still holds up. was working on a new type of nuclear weapon. They were using Nova and NIF laser nuclear fusion testing equipment and supercomputers. So they developed a new type of nuclear weapon in a VR testing lab, huh? Yes, but you can't use virtual data on a battlefield. They would need actual launch data. These are some of the supercomputers. If you link Thinking these, machines? you can test everything in a virtual environment. But it's <coughs> theoretical. So this exercise was designed to test the real thing. They do drone on. What did our president do? If the terrorists launch that thing... <sighs> Damn. <laughs> Damn. I'm such a fool. It's all my fault. The truth is... My grandfather was part of the Manhattan Project. Ooh. He suffered with the guilt for the rest of his life. And my father, he was born on August 6th, 1945. Oh no. The day of the Hiroshima bomb. God's got a sense of humor, all right. Three generations of Emmerich men. We must have the curse of nuclear weapons written into our DNA. I used to think that I could use science to help mankind. But the one that wound up getting used was me. Using science to help mankind. It's just in the movies. <laughs> That's enough crying. Pull yourself together. Where is Metal Gear? Get over it. Where on this base are they keeping it? Rex is in the underground maintenance base. Where's that? North of the communications tower, but it's a long way there. The emergency override system for the detonation code is there too? Yeah, in the maintenance base control room. You'd better hurry. If they were planning a launch from the start, then their ballistic program is probably finished. And since they haven't called for me in a few hours, they must not need me. In other words, they must be ready to launch. Meryl's got the detonation code override keys. We'll link up with her. If we can't override the launch, we'll have to destroy Rex. Don't worry, we got this. I'll show you the way. On that leg of yours, you'll just slow me down. You'll need me if you're gonna destroy Rex. I don't need you, I just need your brain. I created Rex. It's my right, my duty to destroy him. Just need if you the brain, get a chance, right? Try to escape. When the coast is clear, I'll contact you by codec. How am I supposed to escape from an island? Uh, okay. So what then? I want you to hide somewhere and keep me informed. You know this place well, don't you? Of course I do. And don't worry, I've got this. Give it. It's the same stealth technology as the ninja. I want it. Foxhound was going to use them, but with this I'll be fine. Bad leg and all. Good. But I want Meryl to watch after you too. Meryl, the engineer's okay. That's a relief. I want you to look after him. Where are you now? Very close. There she is! Over there! <gasps> oh no! Damn, they spotted me! <laughs> Meryl! What happened? Meryl! Something's wrong. Did you hear something? Wasn't that some kind of music? What did she look like? She... She was wearing the same green uniform as the terrorists. A disguise? She had such a cute way of walking. She kind of wiggles her behind. 
You were really looking. Well, she's got a very cute behind. Way of walking, huh? Yep. So this next part, I have to find Meryl by if she's disguised looking as at her enemy, butt. You'll have to contact her when she's alone, huh? There's only one place where we can be sure she's by herself. Where's that? Don't be so dense. Here, use this security card. It's security level four. You're not in pain, are you? Huh? You feel okay? Nothing bothering you? What's wrong? Getting all friendly all of a sudden. No, nothing. I'm glad you're okay. You're strange. Worried that uh, he's gonna I'm a die nervous. too. Everyone else I've saved suddenly dies. Your bad luck. Forget it, Doctor. Call me Otakon. Otakon? It stands for Otaku Convention. And Otaku's a guy like me who likes Japanimation. Japanimation? Japan was the first country to successfully make bipedal robots. They're still the best in the he's field a weeb. of robotics. And Japanese cartoons played some part in that? They did. I didn't get into science to make nuclear weapons, you know. That's what all scientists say. I became a scientist because I wanted to make robots like the ones in the Japanese animes. Really, it's true. Just sounds like a childish excuse to me. Weeps? Oh, weeps. Yep. You're right. We have to take responsibility. Science has always thrived on war. Greatest weapons of mass destruction were created by scientists who wanted to be This has been be like famous. 20 minutes of cutscenes. And it only gets... I won't take part cutscenes in only get more anymore. extensive as the... Whatever. Like, I guarantee I you, information. if we ever get to sure. the fourth game... I know everything about this whole base. Um, Ask me anything about Rex or about this place. Also, if we ever get to the fourth game, there might be one or two sessions the that are hole. just cutscenes. If cut you need scenes. ammo or rations, just tell me and I'll bring them to you. I'm on frequency 141.12. See you later. 141.12. Remember that chat. 141.12. One You still haven't found Meryl? Snake, the Warhead storage building that you're in has one floor above ground and two floors below ground. Why don't you search there too? Watch the way you're talking to me, piss boy. Else? Oh yeah, I forgot about the, the the scary hall. Just checking all my bases here. Hey, Vision Goggle. Hell yeah. Well, I better put my gas pass back on and get the fuck out of here. Oh no! Okay. 
Let my oxygen build back up and I want to check a couple more doors real quick before we go back. Just to make sure. Clear. Gun grenade. Gun grenade. Alright. Good to go. Go find Hold on. Fine. Oh god, they called it back up. box B. Now we are P-Boys. Don't move. Oh, she caught me. Oh no, whatever am I to do? That's the second time I've been able to sneak up on the legendary Solid Snake. Your Meryl? What's up, girl? There's no way you could pass for a man for long. What do you mean? Hey, men aren't allowed in here. I had no idea you were so feminine. This is no time to try and hit on me, Snake. Besides, it's a waste of time. When I joined up, they gave me psychotherapy to destroy my interest in men. Same smart mouth. You're Meryl, all right. That's, that's really dystopian. After all, I was disguised as a genome soldier. So why'd you change? You'd be a lot better off dressed like one of them. I got tired of disguising myself. The truth is... I'm a better fighter if like I'm not blood. dick crazy, apparently. What's that mark? Huh? Oh, this? It's a paint tattoo. It's not real. I was a fan of Foxhound way back, and guys like you and my uncle were in it. None of that gene therapy like there is today. You guys were real heroes. There are no heroes in war. All the heroes I know are either dead or in prison. One or the other. But Snake, you're a hero, aren't you? I'm just a man who's good at what he does. Killing. There's no winning or losing for a mercenary. The only winners in war are the people. That's right, and you fight for the people. I've never fought for anyone but myself. I've got no purpose in life. No ultimate goal. Come on. It's only when I'm cheating death on the battlefield. The only time I feel truly alive. You got a real Seeing darkness other people die makes now. you feel alive, huh? Can you love war you and me? don't want it to stop? Is it the same with all great soldiers throughout history? Why didn't you contact me? My codec was broken. Is that all? Shouldn't you just be happy we met up like this? How did you recognize me in disguise? I never forget a lady. So there's something you like about me, huh? I just yeah, murdered everybody who wasn't. 
And then oh, I found I you. First it's my eyes, now it's my butt. And what's next? On the battlefield, you never think about what's next. So Snake, how are the negotiations going? No progress. So it's all up to you, huh? Somebody's got to stop them from launching a nuclear missile. There are two ways. Either we destroy Metal Gear or... We override the detonation code. You got the card keys from Baker? Card keys? You mean this? Where are the others? There should be three keys. This is all I've got. Where could the other two be? I have no idea, but they must be somewhere. If we can't find them, we'll have no choice but to destroy Metal Gear. Metal Gear is in an underground maintenance base to the north. Take me too. I know this place better than you do. You'll just slow me down. You don't have enough battle experience. I won't slow you down, I promise. And what if you do? Then you can shoot me. I don't like to waste bullets. Got it. I'll be careful. You know, I don't oh, there's use mirrors the way other women do. I hardly ever look at myself in the mirror. I've always despised that kind of woman. I always dreamed of becoming a soldier. But I was wrong. It wasn't really my dream. My father. He was killed in action when I was younger. You wanted to follow in your father's footsteps? Not really. I thought that if I became a soldier, I could understand him better. So are you a soldier yet? I thought I was until today, but now I understand. The truth is, I was just afraid of looking at myself, afraid of having to make my own decisions in life. But I'm not gonna lie to myself anymore. It's time I took a long, hard look at myself. I want to know who I am, this, what I'm capable of. I I'm sorry, I know I this is a beloved game, but now. the graphics I do not do it know. any favors. Take a good look. You won't get another chance for a while. You should wash your face, too, while you're at it. Yeah. This isn't a training exercise. Our lives are riding on this. There are no heroes or heroines. If you lose, you're worm food. Yeah. Is that FAMAS functional? Unfortunately, it's out of ammo. Where did you get that Desert Eagle? I found it in the armory. It's a 50 caliber Action Express. There was a SOCOM pistol, too, but I chose this. Huh. So I got a leftover, huh? Isn't that gun a little big for a girl? Don't worry, I can handle it. Come on, use my 45. Listen, I've used a gun like this since I was eight years old. I'm more comfortable with it than I am with a bra. She has. If we're gonna go to the north, we'll have to go through the commander's room on this floor. She has titties of holding. The overland route is just blocked a by glaciers. Dimensional pocket in her titties. The door to the commander's room is security level five. This card will open it. It was inside the pocket of the uniform I was wearing. Looks like he must have been guarding someplace important. Okay, let's go. I know this place better than you. I'll be point man. Follow me. Good, we got our action. Hold on, I want to loot. That's strange. There's no guard. What happened to the music? I'll keep a lookout. Make sure you're ready, okay? Good. Go combo. Oh, that's a level six door. Oh. Do, 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 do. Down here. Diazepam. Famas. 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 Ukam. Snake, what are you doing? Let's go to the commander's room. Right. Oh, no. 
don't need to check. Ah, uh, okay. Here we go. My head. Oh, it hurts. What's wrong? Don't come here, Snake. Are you okay? Uh. What happened? I'm fine. Ooh. Okay. Let's go. Yep. Nothing war nothing weird about this. Come on, Mr. Foxhound. The commander is waiting. Nothing weird about this at all. any rations laying around, do you? Ah! And right over here, you get possessed by Satan. Music. Don't use your weapon. Try to knock her out. Got it. Don't worry, I'll beat this woman up. <laughs> What he's doing there is on the original PlayStation version, he would read your memory card and comment on certain games. Like he had, there was a whole list of games that he would comment on, like, "Oh, you like to play Castlevania, or um, you're enjoying Resident Evil, or something like that." Uh, so it's meant to fuck with the player's head more than more than snakes. Yeah. Way. You have not said it often. You are somewhat reckless. I can read you like an open book. You 
still don't believe me? I will show you my psychokinetic power. Put your control on the floor. So re remember when this game first came out, Rumble features on a controller were like a brand new thing. I will move your controller by the and so setting it on the, on the floor and then having it rumble to move across the floor was a novel idea back then. And it's actually like vibrating across my desk right now. And there's one more interesting trick with his boss. He'll fuck with your screen. Making you think that your game died. Oh, and this. Uh, what I was checking earlier oh, is to see if there's a way to change which controller it's reading. So remember back on the old PS1, there was two controller ports. Normally you would play in controller port one. If you play in controller port one while you're fighting this boss, the boss will be able to read your moves. So you have to change your controller out and change it to controller port two. And the only way you'd know that is if you made a bunch of codec calls, trying to spend spend an hour trying to trying to fight this guy, and he keeps dodging you. Uh, and somebody will mention changing the controller port. Ow. Okay. Asshole. Get up. What do I do? Okay. Oh, crap. That's not what I wanted to do. Snake! 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 Snake, don't do that. We're going to the commander's room. Okay. Try this again. Good night, BB. My head. Oh. It... Come on, Mr. Foxhound. The commander is waiting.
snake. How do you like me? What the? I'm sorry now, motherfucker. Got 
got him. Down. Colonel, your niece is going to be okay. I knocked the shit Thanks, out of Vic. her. I owe you one. Now that Mantis is beaten, Meryl's brainwashing should wear off, right, Naomi? Yes. But why did you go so far out of your way to save her? For Campbell's sake, or maybe it's because you like her? I don't want to see any woman die right in front of me. Oh, really? Since when did anybody's death bother you so much? Naomi, it's true that Snake has killed a lot of people, but that doesn't mean he doesn't have a heart. It's okay, Colonel. She's right. So, and you used the other computer. I, I wasn't able to read the future. A strong man doesn't need to read the future. He makes his own. <laughs> Perhaps so. But I'll read your future. <laughs> to get to Metal Gear's underground maintenance base, you have to go through that hidden door. There's a hidden door behind the bookcase. The overland route. It's blocked by frozen glaciers. Go past the communication towers. Then use the tower's walkway. Why are you telling me this? I can read people's minds. In my lifetime, I have read the past, presents, and futures of thousands upon thousands of men and women. Oh, gross. And each mind oh, that he's I peered into was stuck with the same single object of obsession. Ooh. That selfish and atavistic desire to pass on one seed. It was enough to make me sick. Every living thing on this planet exists to mindlessly pass on their DNA. We're designed that way. And that's why there is war. But you... You are different. Naughty. You're the same as us. We have no past, no future. We live in the moment. That's our only purpose. Humans weren't designed to bring each other happiness. Oh, moment, Blue, you're uh, thrown I was just about to call world. it, but thank you so much for coming in. We're fated to bring each other nothing but pain and misery. The first person That's whose mind I dove into was my father. I saw nothing but disgust and hatred for me in his heart. My mother died in childbirth, and he despised me for it. I thought my father was going to kill me. Oh, That's there you go. when my future disappeared. I lost my past as well. When I came to, the Can village my mod was engulfed in flames. Are you saying that you burned your village down to bury your past? I see that you have suffered the same You trauma. stop it. <laughs> no problem. We're truly the same, you and I. What the hell, man. World is more okay, I need to get rid of one of them. That's his main issue here. I never agreed with the boss's revolution. Covering up this <laughs> and this extreme music covering up this really like really emotional speech. You've seen through evil. You snake. You're just like He's supposed to be super ugly, I guess, but like so is everybody else. No, you're worse. It's okay, Blue. Compared to you. I'm not so bad. Like everyone kind of looks like they have their face melted a little bit. 
Merrill's? I saw you there. I'm I'm suffering I'm suffering through it heart. to try to get a to the second place. game, which is one of the greatest video games ever made. Yes. So a large place. I've never played I this version of this game. I've only played the remake together. on the GameCube. I have a last request. What is it? My mask. Put it back on. Okay. Like this. It's actually Other not bad. It's going by a lot faster than I than I remember. My mind the remake being at least. I want to be by myself. <laughs> it's in the cardboard box. Yes. I want to be left alone in my own world. Metal Gear. I'll open the door for you. If you want to oh, find your future, yeah. go through that door. This is the first time I've ever used my power to help someone. It's strange. It feels... Kind of... Nice. Let's go, Meryl. I'm sorry. Meryl? How could I let Mantis control my mind like that? If you're gonna doubt yourself, I'll leave you here. You're right. Get over it. Baby. Never doubt Shh. yourself. Just let it make you stronger. Learn something from it. You're right. I'm sorry. I won't do it again. Leave your issue in the tissue and let's Say, go, can honey. Can I ask you something? What? About what Mantis said. I was just wondering. What? What's the problem now? Oh, no, nothing. So, tell me, Snake, what's your name? Your real name? A name means nothing on the battlefield. How old are you? Old enough to know what death looks like. Any family? No, but I was raised by many people. Is there anyone you like? I've never been interested in anyone else's life. So you are all alone. Just like Mantis said. Cause I'm a badass. Other people just complicate my life. I don't like to get involved. You're a sad, lonely man. Come on. Let's go. Oh. You gotta change the controller now. Look around real quick. Yeah, uh, he could read our mind uh, with the controller plugged into port one, so we have to change the controller to port two. Okay, I think this might be where we call it for tonight. Uh, let's do a round of Collins. Wait, hold on. First. Pathfinder! Yes! Everyone be sure to join us tomorrow for some Pathfinder. What happens if we call Meryl while we're standing right here? No response. She's like, just trying to talk to me, dork. Otacon. A psychic soldier. What a waste. I guess fighting was all he ever knew. Are you feeling sorry for him? Mantis had incredible power. Fantastic power. Maybe that power could have been used to make people happy. It's a sad thing when you see all that power being used just for war. Just for war. Oh, oh, I better save it. Talk to Mei Mei. The tongues of dying men enforce attention like mm, two Yes, we can do a raid. 
Snake, people don't normally lie with their dying breath. I think he was telling the truth. Maybe he was. Just a second here, let me save it. Thank you, Blue. Thank you, Blue. Thank you, Blue. Please, Nick, don't uh, give up. Before we, uh, before we start the raid, let me just go ahead and shout out Blue here. Blue's amazing. We love Blue. She's the best. Uh, let's see who's who's on right now. Game Hawk. Let's go to Game Hawk. Ba da ba ba da. Oh, well. 